that sun is intense. Wow. <laughs> ah, it's bright. But yes, I'm back in my brand new car. Uh, yeah, yeah, I went out and bought a new car. <laughs> uh, well, I traded in my old car for this new one. And uh, the reason I bought a new car in the middle of a pandemic is because of the pandemic, actually. Because right now, uh, I'm planning on going back to work at the ski resort uh, in the winter. Uh, yeah, right now that only that seems like my only option for work. Uh, and yeah, and since I'm a former employee, it's uh, really easy for them to just rehire me back on. You see, before that, before this year, when I worked up there, I would usually get a ride was their employee van pool. Yeah, they, they, they would have uh, a few different vans for the different apartments. The departments, departments, not apartments. Yeah, yeah, so I, I would get a ride up and down the mountain. So, so I, I wouldn't use my car. But now, because of the COVID pandemic, they're, they're um, probably not going to have employee transportation. They did have it in the summer, this, this past summer, when I was working up there, but I'm not really sure if anyone used it. <laughs> and uh, they had rules uh for it they said you could only have one person per row of seats and you had to keep your face mask on at all times and all the windows had to be open which you, you can't have the windows open in the winter that's for sure yeah they're probably not gonna have the employee van pool or yeah, have something that looks completely different. But yeah, so my old car was not four wheel drive. No, no, it, it, it could work fine if there was just a little bit of snow on the road. There, there's a couple of years or a couple of winters where we got a lot of snow like inches, like, yeah, like that, <laughs> on the, the road, and then my old car just wouldn't run. The, the tires would just spin out. So I, I, I had to put chains, tire chains on my tires. Uh, so that I could use it, but but the the chains only work on the snow. Like uh, yeah, if you're driving over pavement, then it's it's really bumpy. Uh, so yeah, so I I didn't want to have to do that this winter. So I just ended up buying a new car with, with all-wheel drive so I I can get around in the snow yeah <clears throat> yeah yeah and I, I I really like this car I, li I like my old one but it was 10 years old at this point uh, and I had it for seven or eight years yeah it was like time to upgrade 
Yeah, and I, I I like this car, like I said. I'll show you a little bit of it, but yeah, see the front of it. It's got that big screen. Uh, my, my old car didn't have a, a screen like that. Just this is a small one. Yeah, the, the only weird thing that it doesn't have is, you know, the, the little compartments in between the front and the front passengers and driver seat. So, so it just has four cup holders. And I've been keeping some stuff in it. Like, like it's a USB charger cord that it has two of those actually you can plug it into and plug your phone into so you don't have to use the cigarette outlet but yeah yeah I, I like that my old car didn't have that and yeah yeah so it has the glove box and then it also has this yeah this little can little mini glove box i guess since it doesn't have that one in the middle then it also has this storage and and one in the middle and then one down here i got got an extra rag in it but yeah i mean yeah I, I like it all i mean it doesn't have everything like like it doesn't have a navigation map on the screen but you know i can just use my phone and it doesn't have a sunroof <laughs> there yeah no sunroof but uh yeah I, I don't mind the only thing that uh i wish that it did have was is a uh, heated seats uh yeah yeah that, that that's the one thing that i wish that it did have yeah it just, just has normal heat and and defrost but yeah yeah and then also has, also has this this screen on the dashboard that that like shows your your speed and digital time and and like mpg miles per gallon and air pressure in your tires and and mileage so yeah that's really cool it's not on right now so you can't see it but then also the needle it's and both needles they're pointing straight down <laughs> yeah i haven't seen it had i have not seen a car like that usually like the needles are pointing to the side a little bit. But yeah, that, that's cool. It's nice. It's nice. It's, it's like about four, I think four years old at this point. Or almost four years. And I, I buy it used. With, I bought it by myself because uh, I figured I kind of wanted to do something without my parents like since yeah this since they're, they're not always going to be around for me uh, to, so yeah I got to do something some stuff, some big stuff on my own, but, but yeah, but I, I kind of wish that I had prepared a little bit more before going in, uh, the, the, uh, the, um, car dealership guy that I bought this car from, he had actually worked with my parents before, uh, yeah. Yeah, when they bought their car a, a few years ago. 
their yeah yeah their new car and I, I didn't know about that until after I had uh, requested to to come in and take a test drive which actually I, I got to do the test drive alone because of the COVID pandemic. The, yeah, they, they wouldn't let, the, they, they wouldn't come along with you for the test drive. So yeah, I did it alone, which, which <laughs> yeah, 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 I, I actually kind of preferred it that way, so. Yeah, then I wouldn't have to, like, make small talk. <laughs> but, well, like I said, I, I wish I had prepared a little bit more, because I, I mean, I had bought my old car, but my, my parents were there with me the whole time, and, and, yeah, they co-signed for it, and, and, then, yeah, pretty much bought it for me, or, or, well, I, I put, I think I put some money into it, but they, they put the majority of the money into it. But this, this one, it's all going to be me. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, but I, I wish I had, you know, look, looked up the, the, I guess how to buy a car or what, what to expect when you're buying a car. Cause I, I was kind of familiar with the terms like like down payment and zero percent interest that that kind of stuff but I, I wasn't really sh all that sure what it was when I got in there and then I'm like yeah yeah but, but fortunately he uh the guy actually let me take this car over to my parents uh, to, to show them and then then I also talked to them about what how to buy it and and, and then uh, I actually ended up bringing my dad back with me so he, he could be there for the important stuff which which was mostly hammered out before he got there, but just a couple other things. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I did end up putting uh, some money down as a down payment right then. So then that means I would have less to pay it off later because now now i have a monthly payment or, or, or i i will soon it hasn't quite started yet but yeah yeah you put some money down you, you don't have to put some money down but it's good to put a little bit down the day you buy the car so then you'll have less to pay in the future. So yeah, yeah, that, 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 that's like something I wish I had known before going in, but, but it's still, still all worked out good. I'm still satisfied. I'm a satisfied customer, I guess. And yeah, yeah, so yeah, got a new car to take me to my old job or well the, the job that I've had that that I've worked the most or had for the longest so yeah yeah yep I'm I'm glad I'm good good purchase good choice for me uh, so yeah yeah that's gonna be it for this vlog uh, until next video. Goodbye.